It's been a while now since the pandemic hit the whole world. Leaving us stuck inside the houses and just wondering how you are going to spend your everyday, hours, or minutes inside your own home. Depression and anxiety are the common battles that most of us have encountered living in isolation, in which this video wanted to share with you some ideas that can make you keep going while in lockdown. Despite a year now, lockdown and quarantine are still being imposed in some countries around the globe, and again possibly, what else can you do? I am sure you have done some of the things listed that will be enumerated here soon, but it's good to have another look that you might not have done yet. The pandemic lockdowns have provided many of us more free time than we've ever had before. The time that we never imagined we'd have. This extra time allows us to do things we've always wanted to do or would like to do more of, depending on our personal circumstances. I believe it is reasonable for us to use this time productively and to do activities that are valuable to us. This video will give us a list of things we can do while the lockdown has been continuously extended with a variety of beneficial activities that you might engage in. So, let's get started on our list of constructive activities you can do at home when you're quarantined or under lockdown. You'll be glad you took the time to do so. Number 1. Watch a Netflix documentary series. This might seem to be a waste of time, but well, you have plenty of time to waste, as you may find yourself binge watching shows that don't benefit you in any way but waste your spare time. Might recommend that you watch documentaries and learn about your favorite subjects in addition to your typical TV viewing habits. You might decide to watch a documentary series on Netflix that you've never heard of before, which is fantastic. A Netflix subscription is inexpensive, and there are plenty of factual shows to watch while you're in quarantine. Number 2. Visit the garden. Yes, I'm afraid it's time to get started on those garden jobs and chores. Your hectic schedule usually prevents you from getting things done in the garden, but you no longer have that excuse. You have to face this reality, but once you started doing some basic garden work, you will actually begin to enjoy it. Tidying up your garden, repainting your fences, and any other garden jobs that need to be done can be done over time when you feel like it and the weather is nice. Number 3. Work on a daily puzzle. Another excellent way to get the mind going first thing in the morning. Solving puzzles, like reading books, has a number of advantages, improved memory, problem-solving abilities, and an increased IQ are just a few of them. This type of brain training can take many forms, such as jigsaw puzzles, sudoku puzzles, or crossword puzzles, which are easily and cheaply available. Every day, set aside 30 minutes to work on a puzzle. You don't even have to finish them. Simply setting a time limit and attempting to complete the puzzle within that time limit is sufficient. Number 4. Connect with family, friends, and past colleagues. We are separated from the people we normally spend time with, but we can connect with them through more means than ever before. Make time to catch up with friends and family and have a virtual drink. Use the time to contact relatives you haven't spoken to in a long time. I also believe that reconnecting with former co-workers is a fantastic idea. You would have spent a lot of time with these people in previous roles, and you may have grown apart as your career progressed. But make an effort to find those you'd like to catch up with, they're in the same situation as you, so a virtual beer is likely to be appealing to both of you. Number 5. Maintain a blog or journal. It's always a good idea, and a highly effective one, to keep track of your thoughts, activities, and learnings. You might reflect on this period and digest your memories or even your thoughts for the previous day or week. You can do this privately on your computer, mobile device, or, even better, in a notebook. Consider taking it a step further and creating a personal blog where you can turn your daily experiences into weekly or monthly posts for others to read and learn from. In any case, putting pen to paper once a day could be a 15-minute investment. Number 6. Read that book you've been putting off for a long time. Starting at the top of the list is a good place to start. Nothing makes me happier than completely immersing myself in a book, focusing solely on the book, its characters, and its plot. We now have the option to do so. Books help us to exercise our brains, expand our vocabularies, reduce stress, and improve our imagination. Whether you favor fiction or nonfiction, go out and buy some books this week and start reading more. Number 7. 
enroll in a complimentary course. Enrolling in a course and passing tests and assignments will help you build your knowledge as well as your CV. The Open University, for example, provides a wide range of foundation-level courses that anyone can enroll in for free and begin learning from, ranging from history and the arts to society, politics, and law. There are plenty of free learning materials on the internet, no reason to procrastinate. Number 8. Explore a new skill. Enrolling in courses can help you improve your qualifications while also teaching you new skills. Learning the rules of a game, chess is a good example, or how to play an instrument, or anything else that takes time to master. I believe that practicing an instrument can be a lot of fun, as well as an inventive way to keep yourself entertained and constantly learning. This is true when learning a new instrument or improving your skills on an instrument you've been playing your entire life. Number 9. Create a workout routine. How long have we all been waiting to get started on this activity? If you work out on a regular basis, you are aware that routine is the key to a successful and consistent workout regimen. And I don't think I need to tell you about the advantages of working out and staying fit. Are you able to obtain some basic gym equipment? You don't even need such equipment if you follow some of the workout videos on YouTube. Number 10. Meditation. While in quarantine, it is critical to be aware of your surroundings as well as your own well-being, and meditation may help you find some peace of mind in times of uncertainty. Find a quiet place, light some candles, and listen to some therapeutic meditation music. More information here. Meditation is one of the most effective ways to relieve stress and improve your overall well-being right now. Number 11. Listen to even more music. In your typical office environment, you would most likely listen to radio stations or no music at all. You don't have this restriction when working from home or in quarantine, and you can listen to whatever you want. Why not spend some time going through music albums and listening to new and possibly unknown music? You can listen to new music from your favorite genres, or you can find a list of the genre's best albums and listen to them all, or also consider listening to more podcasts or audiobooks. Number 12. Begin a do-it-yourself project. If gardening in your spare time sounds appealing, take it a step further and embark on a do-it-yourself project. Fixing or learning how to fix, general household items may be sufficient for you. After that, it will become clear that it is more than just the light bulb that needs to be replaced. The more time you spend at home, the more you'll realize how much work you have to do. With all of your free time on your hands, there's no better time to start sorting through those odd jobs you've been putting off. If this is how you want to spend your time, enroll in a DIY-related course to tackle larger projects around the house. Number 13. Be artistic. DIY and gardening aren't your thing, but you'd like to do something creative? Art and crafts are a great way to express yourself, learn a new skill, and see ordinary things in a whole new light. They also help you channel your creativity. You can paint on canvas, doodle in a sketchbook, or color in adult coloring books. Take it a step further and learn to knit, make candles, and make jewelry. Investigate the various websites that provide starter kits and ideas for arts and crafts activities that you can do during this time of increased downtime. Number 14. Use social media to experiment. Sure, you use Facebook to connect with friends and family, and LinkedIn to manage your professional network. You may also use Twitter and Instagram on occasion. But you can do so much more and experiment with the platforms available to you, as well as connect with others who share your interests. Sign up for a sharing platform with some of the most popular content such as fashion, food, decor, wedding, workout, and DIY-related pins. Discussion communities for you to discover and discuss new content may be better suited for you. Or you may prefer something a little more playful that is worth experimenting with and accessing user-generated content, behind-the-scenes videos, exclusive offers, and influencer takeovers, as well as connecting with other friends on the platform. Number 15. Remember the periodic table? Set a goal for yourself and memorize the periodic table of elements. This is a tabular display of chemical elements organized by atomic number, electron configuration, and recurring chemical properties, which when combined in a table shows periodic trends. Number 16. 
work as a volunteer. With many people on furlough or working fewer hours, volunteering may be the most productive and rewarding option for you. However, due to the current restrictions, you cannot travel far and come into contact with people, and you may feel that your options are limited. Maybe so. This is not to say that there aren't any volunteer opportunities available to you. You can also keep an eye out for your neighbors and offer to help them with shopping and other errands. Charities are also collaborating with governments and local governments to develop ways for people to get involved. If you believe this is the path for you, contact your local health board or council to learn more about your options. Number 17. Learn a new language. How many times have you expressed a desire to learn a new language? I'm sure you've done it numerous times over the years. You now have the opportunity to do so. You can do so easily and for free with several apps in your mobile phone or from YouTube. Number 18. Go for a walk in the countryside, only if it is allowed. Take advantage of the natural beauty that may surround you. Daily exercise and exposure to sunlight are two of the best things you can do for your physical and mental health, and you should make this one of your primary routines if you are not breaking self-quarantining rules, such as walking in groups and not staying two meters away from others. Doing so in nature will make you a happier person, which will boost your immune system, reduce anxiety, and improve your athletic performance. Number 19. Restore your sleep. Those early mornings and late nights that comprise our normal routines can be taxing. Make sure to get enough sleep during this period of increased downtime. Some of the activities on this list will help you sleep naturally, but make sure you go to bed at a reasonable time. This is the time to make sure you're getting 8 hours of sleep per night, and you'll feel energized as a result. Number 20. Establish a routine for your new activities. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, make a schedule of the activities you will do and try for the first time on a weekly basis. Stick to your routine and develop habits that will allow you to continue working and being productive during this lockdown. This video includes a list of productive activities for anyone in any industry to do while stuck at home and quarantine. Begin immediately with some of these activities. If you find this information helpful, Please like and subscribe to get updated on our next featured series next week. See you in our next video. Thank you.